Located in the Rocky Mountains of Montana, Glacier National Park is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the state. With its numerous hikes, stunning beaches, and diverse wildlife, families who visit the area are going to get more than their share of outdoor fun. Join Viewcation as we take a look at the best things to do in Glacier National Park, Montana. Go on a drive down going to the Sun Road. If you're into scenic drives, paying the small ticket fee to take the drive along going to the Sun Road can be considered a must. Driving along the road offers some of the most lush sights in the area, not to mention the numerous hikes and other activities available on numerous offshoots. While driving along the road can be considered one of the preeminent Glacier National Park activities, the road is sadly only open seasonally. On most occasions, access to the road isn't allowed until July. This closure occurs for the sake of visitors, as it's not a road you'll want to be driving along when the weather is poor. Even on the nicest days during the summer, the drive along going to the Sun Road can be a tad stressful for inexperienced drivers. It's best to take your time along the road, which also gives you the opportunity to take in the area's exuberant heights. While the road is narrow, there are numerous spots along its length where drivers can pull off to the side and capture a picture. You'll also want to take a moment to appreciate the staggering beauty of the Weeping Wall. It's an area where multiple waterfalls can be seen cascading down an area beside the road. It's certainly a very cold and wet location, and there's a good chance you'll be seeing little piles of snow in the area during the summer. At the top of the road is the Logan Pass Visitor Center. For those looking to stretch their legs after the beautiful drive, there are numerous hikes near this location that offer visitors the perfect chance to see the park on foot. Experience Glacier National Park's Numerous Hikes there are over 700 miles of trails located within the parameters of Glacier National Park, meaning visitors would have to stay there for a long time to even experience a fraction of them. One of the best beginner hikes available is the Trail of the Cedars. Given that it's not too much of a challenge, it does tend to be one of the more popular hikes in the area. Because of this, it might be a bit packed when the weather's good. Still, its beautiful sights make it worth it to face the crowds. And crowds mean you'll have a greatly reduced chance of running into any hungry bears. The Trail of the Cedars includes an incredibly gorgeous waterfall along its length and can be hiked by hikers of nearly any skill level. It's even wheelchair accessible. For those looking for a more challenging hike, there are numerous other choices besides the Trail of the Cedars available to visitors of the park. Avalanche Lake Hike is a slightly more challenging hike, but still one appropriate to take your children on. Some of the most beautiful hikes can be found near Logan Pass, which is located at the top of going to the Sun Road. While you will have to take that road to get to these hikes, the trip will be well worth it for seasoned hikers. The best trail available near Logan Pass is arguably the Hidden Lake Trail, which can be known to burn quite a bit of calories with its steady incline. If you're not used to hiking, you may want to warm up on the aforementioned trails first. If you're looking for an even more serious challenge, there's a trail that can be found right across from Logan Pass Visitor Center that might be more your speed. It's known as the Highline Trail, and it offers one of the more intense hikes that can be had within the confines of the park. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. And stick around for more of the best of Glacier National Park. Visit Whitefish and Walk the City Beach There are many who feel the beaches offered at Glacier National Park are comparable to the beaches offered on the coasts, but visitors will have to be prepared to face waters that are much colder than waters found on the coasts, as well as some slightly coarser sand. The nicest beach available to visitors is arguably Whitefish City Beach, located within the resort town of Whitefish. Visiting Whitefish can take up a full day, as not only can visitors spend plenty of time on the city beach, but they'll also want to take time to peruse the resort town itself. It's filled with places to eat and souvenirs to buy, being the most popular town in Glacier National Park. As far as Whitefish City Beach itself, there's plenty to do. The beach is completely public, meaning you aren't going to have to pay an arm and a leg to get in. But it also means the beach can be fairly crowded, particularly when the weather is nice. Visitors can swim, go out on the water on a kayak, or simply play in the sand. And there's also a concession stand for hungry beachgoers. Once you've had your share of the beach, checking out the town of Whitefish should be considered a must. One of the best locations to visit within the notable resort town is the Whitefish Lake Restaurant, while those looking for souvenirs can check out Whitefish Gift and Gear. Visit the Whitefish Mountain Resort if you've got more than a day to kill in the Whitefish area, you may want to check out the Whitefish Mountain Resort. 
Families looking for a variety of fun activities will find plenty to do at this resort location, which functions as a ski resort during the winter months, but also has plenty of awesome family activities during the rest of the year. That includes an elaborate rope course, a massive incline slide, zip lining, and a gondola. Taking a ride on the gondola will bring visitors to a little nature museum where they can pick their own fresh huckleberries. This is a great activity for kids. Take a rafting excursion. The reason there are so many beautiful beaches at Glacier National Park is because the area has so much water. There are numerous rivers running through it, and taking a rafting excursion down one of these rivers may be a good idea for adventurous visitors. While rafting excursions can be pretty crazy in terms of both the volatility of the rapids and the length of the trip, there are different packages available, some of which may be appropriate for little ones. While the majority of rafting excursions are going to be pretty intense, there are some scenic options offered for families. These will even stop off at calm areas along the water to allow rafters to get out of the raft and swim, though keep in mind the water is going to be incredibly cold. Check out the wildlife. Glacier National Park is home to some diverse wildlife, with some of the most notable animals you'll be liable to run into, including bears, bighorn sheep, mountain goats, and moose. Visitors will want to pay mind to the bears. You're advised to carry around some bear spray at all times. Bear spray is simply a very high-grade form of mace designed for bears. While seeing a bear from a distance can be a beautiful thing, you don't want to get up close and personal with one. Thankfully, the majority of tourist locations within Glacier National Park are crowded enough that bear attacks are rarely an issue. Visitors should also keep an eye out for bighorn sheep and mountain goats. Though these animals are a good deal less scary to run into, you still won't want to get too close. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorites in Glacier National Park? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Viewcation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.